Dean, I buy cool stuff. Hey, there's my truck. And uh, it's gun show weekend, but we're at the flea market first thing in the morning because you got to get out and try and find some stuff. All right, so we're at Green Lawn Grove. And uh, like always, you got to get out here and see if you can find a treasure. See if there's anything cool that you need to buy. Make a few bucks on. So. Lots of comics. Looks like Boy Scout stuff. I guess that's Order of the Arrow. How about them with mine? Five bucks. Probably did, Jeff, because the guy well, asked him to change earlier, and I think that, they left well, away. Well, I just see him later. All kinds of cleaning rods. How much on the Daisy Pellet gun, BB gun? 30, How's it going today, boss? Okay, it's kind of busy. Always is, though. Yeah, they're pulling in. Oh, shoot. The weather's perfect. The weather is perfect. All the knives seem to have issues. Very 1970s ish. Uh, well, I broke up with it. You broke up with her, all right. Yeah, it's just. Uh, How'd she take it? Not very well. Not very well. Uh, so, anyways, I was at a garage sale yesterday and the lady was buying a bunch of stuff from her. And uh, her husband died seven years ago. So, anyhow, Jeff had some cool stuff, but nothing I really needed. There's the violin collector. Good to know who buys what. I've sold him two violins for over $700 this summer. So. For tapping holes. For tapping yeah, 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 yeah. So... That's always a good thing to know. Probably. 
Lots of tchotchkes. Nothing super. Uh, give it a chance. Give it a chance. Good morning. How's it going? Ain't been caught yet, so it's a good morning. Morning. Good, good. No violins today. Lear Sigler, 1972. How you doing today, sir? Good. How much are your army men? Uh, 15 for everything. That wasn't a small I'd buy that helmet. How you doing today? I haven't been caught yet. You haven't been caught yet? No. Nope. That's off a of Harley. Uh, Is that what it's off of? Yeah. Look at this Motley crew. Guys, all ready to go to the gun show? Ready. Yep. Get that biscuits and gravy. Yeah, the wife done baked it this morning. Well, baked the biscuits and cooked the gravy. So, biscuits and gravy at the gun show. How much is the marbles? I'll take them for 10. Any more? Thank you. Oh, let me get you some change. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did you need a bag, honey? No, I just threw them in my pocket. I got big pockets. All right. Yeah, they're for like uh, for cooking and all that for chefs, you know. But you could, you know, whatever. They are fancy. So they're small. Most of my things are medium, small, small and medium. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I don't think I have the large. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. No problem. No, there's no chef. If, if a chef's not fat, don't eat it. Right. Right. How much are the spoons? You want them all? No, I'm just looking at them. I really don't know, but like if you want them all, I'll sell them all to you for like $10. Yeah, you can Those can go in with for the 10 bucks. 
All that little silverware. Take a buck for the one. Yeah, sure. All right. Bought the one spoon for a buck. Peace. How much is this? Twenty-five. Two dollars. Thank you. Thank you. How much you say? Twenty-five. All right, so this spoon was a World War One piece spoon, so it's a hundred and some odd years old. Bear Kodiak Hunter. How much is my bow this morning you're carrying around? Oh, I don't know. Took this mic. Huh? This might go on my bike. Huh? There you go. Wait a minute. The helmet wasn't in there. Hundred twenty bucks for the helmet. That is Dave Van Houten, who set up at the gun show, but is here first thing in the morning, flea market shopping, and picked himself up a bear Kodiak hunter bow. So I'm sure there's money to be made on that. How much is the pot? I'm sorry? How much is the pot? Ten dollars. <clears throat> don't seem to be cracked or anything, does it? Nope. Not at all. Well, I'll own the pot. I think it says Volrath. Volrathware. Never heard of Volrathware before? Me neither. Let's get the guy out of 10. Here you go, boss. 10 bucks on the pot. Sir? It's sold, sir. Oh, it's sold? Okay. Sorry. You're a minute late. So, it is a large pot, cast iron, enameled, 10 bucks. It's got to be something near 100. It's got to be 60 or 80 for certain. So we will look it up later. But, that's why you're out to the flea market in the morning. Even if you're gun show guys, like the other guys, they're all going to go eat the wife's biscuits and gravy at the gun show. <sighs> Larry, how's it going? Larry's going to be at the gun show too. Yes, sir. So, and that's because people that are hunting hard, looking for stuff, are out finding stuff. Because they buy cool stuff too. They just beat me here this morning. I, uh, I uh, uh, haven't found nothing here today. Look at the pot I just bought. Oh, cool. Oh my god. It's cast iron. Yeah. Ten bucks. Got a name, enamelware. The guy in the back doesn't have a bad deal on a World War II sword. He's asking 17 2 bucks. He's got a what? Uh, World War II um, shovel with a cover dated 45 he's asking 17 but if you went down at the white tin and turn right and go past the big white tin he's right in there he's also got a helmet too much 65 bucks but the shovel's not a bad deal yeah you're gonna be at the show later d yeah the wife's already got the biscuits and gravy made so i'll see you at the show And everybody looks for something different. There's a lot of people collecting, buying old galvanized wash tubs. 
So them always sell good. Hey, I thought you was coming to look at my fireplace last two last week Monday. Me? No, no Sammy. Sammy. Oh, this Monday. Yeah. I gotta well, move my mom too. That's fine. What time? It don't matter. Gun show today. I'll be around. Gun show today. Gun show today. Okay. So what's up, Sam? Well, you know, about to smoke my breakfast and sell hey, me shit. Three fifty. Uh, I mean, um, eight seven Express with the Woodstock. You got one? No, I seen one at the show. Though had uh, a cantilever scope on it. He's asking three, oh. three something for it. Right. Why weren't there you there yesterday? Oh, slacking, eh? Yeah, yeah, I know you're kind. I had dialysis yesterday. Oh, geez, what's up? Diabetes? Yeah, well, dialysis. I, I got my kidneys. Are... I know, but is it from diabetes? Yeah, and high blood pressure. It's, they're they're it's all connected. If you got high blood pressure, you got to watch your kidneys. Yeah, well. You know, you gotta watch. I guess. It'll blow your fucking kidneys out. And you won't be saying, I guess, if you hook it up to a machine <laughs> like I am three days a week so I can live. Well, I, I did go and get that bariatric surgery to I help me too. lose weight. Oh, you had it? I had it, 2015. And I feel a ton better than I did, I can tell you that much. Yeah, I lost uh, like 60 pounds. I was 350. I'm 245, 250. That fixes most of that stuff. No, I didn't. So, anyhow, well, wish you the best, man. Oh, shit. I'm dialysis in 30 years. Huh? I can live 30 years on dialysis. You it's could get it. a kidney transplant, too. Good morning, dear. I seen the owner of the hot dog riding his scooter down towards the store. Huh? So what else is up? Anything good? A whole bunch of kitties. How many cats have you guys sold this summer? Oh, at least a hundred. Oh, you're back. I seen you riding the scooter down the road. In one weekend we sold 27. And that was way earlier this summer. I just bought it for a $10 bill, man. It's ca cast iron with... Uh, Enamel? No, it's cast iron with enamel, yeah. Good morning. How's it going? I'm getting there. Getting there. Look at the cast iron I bought this morning. Yeah, that's nice. Ten bucks. Nice. You ever heard of the name of it? Volner, Volnerware? It's got a name on the bottom. Let's see if I can get it up there and show you. Vol, V O L. It's probably Volrath. Volrath. Yeah, that Volrath. It, if it's Volrath, it's, it was made in Wisconsin. It's Volrath. I've never seen it before. That's professional grade. I used to cook and yeah. a lot of my stuff was Volrath when I worked in that industry. Yeah. And on a skillet. Cheap. On a skillet, it'll, it'll have like a number right in the center, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah, that's a good one. If that's Volrath wear, that's what it, it they is. Made them like that. They made them like that. Yeah, everything Volrath is commercial grade. Yeah. <clears throat> What is this? Uh, it's, it's bad shape. That's a, a U.S. Navy Mark One. Mark One. Yep. I'm gonna. Did you put the tape on or no? No, I didn't. I was afraid to take it off. What'd you want for it? I take forty bucks for it. Is that going to be 40 after or before you take the tape off? Before. <laughs> after it's going to be 60 or 20, right? right. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> He's 
you, I wish you were here a little bit before. I just saw the vest and stuff, you know, like it didn't have the metal plates, but uh, the guy that had it used it. He, he was like in tournaments where the BBs, the uh, yeah. plastic. Right. Airsoft. Yeah, airsoft. Yep. That's the word I was looking for. A lot of people into that. Well, let, why don't you peel that tape off and let's see how, what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> if you buy it, you can peel it off. I'll give you 30 bucks and, and I'll peel the tape off yeah. of it. Give me 30 and you peel it off. All right, we're going to peel the tape off this. dollars bills folded up under that tape. Could be. You never know. Could be a gold gold coin just laid right up in there. You never know. It might be a... I got a process. All right, so we bought the knife for 30 because he didn't have guts enough to peel it, I'm gonna peel it. So you wanna film this? I'll peel it in. You you hold the camera and I'll unpeel it. I'll show you why I didn't want to peel it. Look at the tip of it. You, I don't care about the case. Yeah, I wanna know about the that? handle on yeah. this. So it, let's it see. It might be, I'm just worried that it's uh It could be, it could be any. Or, uh, the leathers. Of course, you can, you can still fix it. We'll, we'll know in a minute what we got. So. Anyhow, you got to take these chances on this stuff. Yeah. Now, if I can find an end to it, let me get my knife out, and we'll just cut a piece of this tape off of here. Hello. Now, now the guy doing the filming. Yeah, for me, he's got he's his phone. I'm right over here at Ray's booth. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll find you. All right, bye. <laughs> but it's one of those things you gotta, you take gotta learn what you gotta take a chance. Yeah. You took a chance when you bought it, didn't you? Yeah. Probably not as much of a chance. Not as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't mind taking a chance. Who, who, if you don't take a chance, people go gamble. I know it's worth thirty bucks. Yeah. Doesn't matter what it looks Even like. if you have to put tape back on. <laughs> Even if I have to put the tape back on, it's worth 30 bucks, right? Yeah. It's a K bar. How can you go wrong with a K bar for 30 bucks? It's a World War II That's K bar. That's good in that right there. So you look at the oh, That's a good one there. There we go. I think you better come now. Sorry about roping you into that. That's all right. But the guys at the flea market are great, so. Anybody that doesn't come out to the flea market and go shopping doesn't know real people. Because these guys out here at the flea market are real. There ain't nothing fake about them. Oh, okay. hey. They're all real guys. What, do they got two rolls on this thing? I guess. <laughs> We're getting two rolls of video, but they like these, uh, uncovering videos on uh, YouTube anyhow. Oh, hey, I see leather. Oh, you do? I see leather. There's something underneath it. I see Paris, I see France. I see the nice underpants. Yeah, it might be in, might be some in there. It's getting awful thin. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> And he's putting the tape back on. Yeah. No, I ain't gonna. I'm gonna do a Japanese Edo wrap with this uh, electrical tape. Japanese <laughs> Edo wrap with the. There you go. It is miss. It looks like it's missing a piece of leather right up at the top. Yeah. I bet it's missing more than more than one. No. Nope. No. Just gonna be Just the one. one. Just the one right up at the top. But this stuff got used after the war, man. These guys brought oh, yeah. this stuff home yep. to use. They didn't. They didn't they bring them. Yeah, they didn't collect them. They used them. That's right. Oh, there's guys out there now cutting down deer with them. Yeah. So we're almost done. To it. I see some. Uh, I see some pieces missing. Yeah. It's all right though. Yeah. There we go. That's not that bad. I think if you put some oil on it, it'll swell up. 
<laughs> don't know. Just about fill it'll it. just it'll fill those cracks right in. Just about <laughs> fill it up, man. <laughs> but you gotta buy stuff to sell stuff, so yeah. not a problem. So anyhow. That's, that's what we got. That's how you get your World War II K bars. And there it is, Mark K bar, nice and clear. Blade's not too bad. Nope, not nice too bad. bad. Thank you. Yep, no problem. I'm gonna go find my folks. Dean, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> Flea market dogs. What kind of axe handles you got in that old truck of yours? Somebody told me you was dead. Somebody told me you was dead. I wish it was. You don't wish you was. Yeah, dude. <laughs> How's it going? I'm just slow. I'm just slow. This gentleman here's got more axe and hammer and hatchet handles. I've been putting, I've been redoing axes and hatchets, and uh, I thank you for everything you taught me. I got a hammer I just got out of this box. I want to show you. You gonna show me a hammer? Yeah. I never seen one with that. Uh... What's the name say? Super Steel? VSB, eh? I and R or something like that. I and R Super Steel. Mm -hmm. L and R Super Steel. I and R Super Steel. You ever seen one? Nope. Nope. Well, I got your number. I thought. I thought. I thought I was going to delete your number. I'm glad I still got it. You got a what? I never even got to clean it up. Put the lid in there. Side the bed. Can't find all these good no more. No Winchester. <laughs> no. No. Let me show you. Don't forget your pot. Oh! I walked away and left the pot. <laughs> was you fixing to sell it or call me hey i got 20 bucks for your pot <laughs> i just uh there's three people asked me about it i'll bet they should have they should have beat me out here well we've had a good morning buying I'm glad to see my good morning. My friend that sells axe handles and such is still alive. He's quite old.
neat looking skeet thrower. Look at these park timers out here, man. Living the dream. Who made it? Oh, mine's got a name on it. Volrath. Volrath. Wonder what the floats are off of, eh? Boys, for drift nets. Gotta be net floats of some sort. Yeah, they're floats. What are you asking on the uh, well, the marlin? Five. Which marlin? This What's it chambered in? I got one, but it's a West Point. <laughs> true value. You're thinking, right. You're thinking true value sold with West Point. Nice gun. I ain't found that helmet and shovel that Larry was talking about. Hey, if you need any axe handles, the axe handle guy's here today. Yeah, I see him back there.
don't know. I just don't see the... Uh, don't see it. Let's hit pause for a little bit and we'll see if we can find it. So the shovel is supposed to, in the helmet, it's supposed to be down here. You guys, we'll have a gray pickup truck next to the wood. Well, there's the gray pickup truck. It's where the ski thrower was, but I did not notice the shovel and the. So let's try again. I like it. This. I like it too. It's very nice inside because no rust. No, it's uh. Oh, there's the stuff. Ugh. May I? I wonder what this is. This is a tool. Uh, put your tools in it. 1952. Oh. Put your tools in it. Old Not old enough. What's the best? Oh, the snap's busted on the yeah. shelf. Alright. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so we bought good today. Bought marbles. Bought a World War II K bar knife. Bought a big cast iron skillet and bought a World War One spoon. So it was a good day buying. Uh, whew, a lot of work carrying this big heavy cast iron pot. So anyhow, like I always say, like, subscribe, comment, and God bless you and God bless America.